Hi children, good morning to all. Welcome back to your English online classes. So we have completed our 10th chapter, Tale of a Stick. And its meaning is question answers and the grammar topic. In the grammar topic, we have studied how to use the verb if the noun is a singular one or a plural noun. And we have already discussed the vocabulary session, the animals and their sounds. In the writing session, we have discussed how to arrange the words in a meaningful sentence. So, today let us discuss the workbook of that lesson. From your workbook, you can take page number 19 and 20. Let us revise all these topics from that lesson. So, let us discuss the workbook of lesson 10, Tale of a Stick, from your workbook, page number 90. Tale of a Stick, the first exercise. Complete the table with a list of things you do every day and once a week. See children, we know we are doing so many things in each day and some things we will do once a week. So here they are given a table. In the first column they are written every day. The actions that we are doing every day that we need to mention there. And in the second column once a week. Doing once in a week that we can list in the Second column. So let us start. The first one, one example they have already given. The first column every day. The first example they are given that is brush my teeth. And what we need to write the next? Yes, we can write wake up early. And third one we can write have a bath. Fourth one we can write exercise. We must do at least half an hour exercise in each day. And fifth one eat healthy food. All these things that we are doing in each day. So first one brush my teeth. Second one wake up early. Third one have a bath. Fourth one exercise. And fifth one eat healthy food. And in the second column that is once a week. The actions that we will do in once in a week. So the first example go to the library. Second one we can write trim nails. We must trim our nails once in a week. Then we can write go for outing. We can go for an outing in once in a week. Then play games with family. You should spend quality time with your family members. So you can play games with family. And we can write gardening. So in this exercise we will discuss the actions that we will do every day and once a week. So first one is the actions we will do every day. We have written first one brush my teeth. Second one wake up early. Third one have a bath. Fourth one exercise. And fifth one eat healthy food. And the next column the actions we will do once a week they are. First one, go to the library. Second one, trim nails. Third one, go for outing. Fourth one, play games with family. And the last one is gardening. See children, you can write another activities instead of this. The second exercise B. Look at the pictures. Complete the crossword using the sounds these animals make. Look at the pictures. Complete the crossword using the sounds these animals make. So in the vocabulary session from our 10th chapter we have discussed animals and their sounds. Here they are given the pictures of 6 animals and we need to write the sounds that they are making. See a cross. You can see the first picture it is a cock. Second one sheep. Third one it is a cat. And down First one it's a duck, second one it's a bee and third one it's a bird. So across the number is 3. Which sound made by this cock? Yes that is cluck. What is the spelling of cluck? C-L-U-C-K cluck. And across number 4 that is sheep. Which sound made by this sheep? Yes that is Ba. What is the spelling? B A A Ba. And across the fifth one that is kitten. It is a cat. So what is the sound made by this kitten? Yes, meow. The spelling M E W. Meow. Okay. 
and down the first picture it say duck which sound made by the duck yes that is quack spelling q u a c k quack and second picture it say b which sound made by this b yes that is buzz spelling b u z z buzz and third one it say bird which sound made by the bird yes we can call chirp a tweet but here it is suitable that is cheep the sound made by the bird that is cheep c h e e p cheep so the first one across that is cock made by the sound cluck c l u c k cluck and the next one sheep making the sound ba b a a ba and fifth one cat cat made the sound yes meow m e w and down the first one it said duck duck made making the sound quack q u a c k quack second one it said b b is making the sound buzz b u z z and third one it said bird bird is making the sound cheep c h e e p cheep so children you should complete this puzzle and exercise c complete the answers to these questions here they are given two brackets and they are given clues about two people first one sarita here they are given the clues doctor hospital sick people second one parish here they are given the clues postman post office delivers letters you can see them in the picture and here they are given some sentences and we need to complete that sentences that is not filled first one is sarita a nurse they are asking question is sarita a nurse no she is a doctor is sarita a nurse no she is a doctor second question where does she work where does sarita work yes she works in hospital where does she work answer she works in hospital and the third question what does she do there third question what does she do there answer she treats sick people she treats sick people and fourth one what does parish do who is parish yes postman what does parish do so we can write he is a postman what does parish do he is a postman fifth one what does parish work what does parish work we can write he works in post office he works in post office sixth one what does he do there sixth one what does he do there answer he delivers letters he delivers letters so in this exercise they are given some clues and they are asking some questions and we need to write the answers of that question using the clues given here so the first one is sarita a nurse answer no she is a doctor second one where does she work answer she works in hospital third one what does she do there she treats sick people and fourth one what does parish do and sir he is a postman fifth one what does parish work parish works in post office sixth one what does he do there he delivers letters children i also attach the answer key of this workbook you should try to do the workbook yourself okay i did study the new words and the question answers and do more worksheet regarding this grammar topic so we can meet in the next classroom till then take care thank you